Rebecca at the Chilton Public Library here. And Glennie is going to be joining me in just a few seconds. And I'm here to introduce our February 2022 Cook the Book program. And this month, we are focusing on one particular cookbook series, and it is the Nom Nom Paleo Cookbook Series. And this book series focuses on the paleo diet. And now you might be wondering, if you don't know already, what is the paleo diet? So the paleo diet is a grouping of recipes that really focuses on eating real and naturally occurring ingredients. Some people might still refer to it as the caveman diet. But in the Nom Nom Paleo books, they really look at focusing on vegetables, grass-fed and pasteurized meat and eggs, uh, maybe wild-caught seafood, healthy fats, fermented foods, fruits, nuts, seeds, and spices. So you're going to lose a lot of that, your, like the carbs and the bread aspect on there with the focus on ingredients that you would find in nature. And so like instead of butter, you might be using avocado oil instead, which one of our recipes uses that. So I'm going to bring Glenny in here in just a second. So give me one quick second. And hey, Glenny. Hi, everybody. It's Glenny here. And I will now show you the book that I chose in the series by Michelle Tam and Henry Song, Ready or Not, 150 Make Ahead, Make Over, and Make Now Recipes by Nom Nom Paleo. I love this series of books, and especially if you have kids, they're so colorfully um, arranged, and so I like the logic of it, too. They start off by briefly and graphically explaining what paleo is, sort of ancestral eating, and um, prioritize whole, unprocessed, nutrient-rich, nourishing foods, instead of like the junk food that we tend to snack on sometimes all too often. and. So the, it's color tabs. I don't know if you can see that, but there's an orange frame here, which is the introduction to the concept. And then if I go to this color tab, it's all about getting your kitchen ready, getting your ingredients ready, um, setting yourself up for success so that you have all the ingredients on hand you need. So maybe you take a weekend to do that. And then the following weekend, you could say, um, this one is uh, getting, are you ready? Getting ready, not ready levels of cooking. So the three, I've made several things out of this book so far. I, I did zoodles with a gravy, uh, an Italian gravy sauce that they had in here. And I made um, a, a squash soup. So they also tend to think that, um, assume people assume when they hear paleo, that it's all meat, you're eating raw meat or something and lots of it. But no, it's, it's you're eating quality, healthfully produced products um, and foods that are um, also include vegetables. So she has a lot of vegetable things in here. Like here's buffalo cauliflower baked. Um, I made these and they like disappear really fast. And um, the zoodles were very good. Over here, the, the recipes that I personally made were from this section, which is the not ready section, which means, um, can I do it in 15 minutes? Uh, I don't wanna dedicate a whole afternoon to this. And most of the books, most of the recipes in this book are very accessible, are very easy to do. And the recipes that we'll see later are, I made a Persian cauliflower rice. There it is. I made a, um, I made some cashews, some smoky paprika cashews for putting on top of uh, wraps and salads. And I made um, a, a Thai mushroom stir fry which could accompany anything, really. It's really delicious. And then a little bit later, I will make an egg egg drop soup for you. And and you're going to make something for us too, aren't you? I am. I am going to be making a scrambled egg-based breakfast. So I thought that that would be a really fun way to be able to uh, change up maybe a Saturday or Sunday morning breakfast. Um, I agree with you. I really felt like these books... Uh, were really accessible to, especially to someone who might want to look at being able to change up maybe some of their meal plans um, or maybe look at doing like a meat-free night and adding more of a more vegetarian style dish without seeming like those traditional like 
stereotypical vegetarian dishes that might scare some people off. Um, a lot of these felt like they were really um, dishes that you would just have at home um, in a normal like meat and potatoes kind of way, uh, but in a twist. And I really liked that. The book that I chose was uh, Tran, uh, Tams and Fong's newest one, the Nom Nom Paleo Let's Go. This book just came out, I want to say last week, maybe two weeks ago on there. It is laid out uh, pretty much the same as uh, Glenny's book um, with the color-coded sections. And she color codes it um, at the top this time instead of on the page ends. And once again, this book has all the bright, colorful photos. I really love the fact that they show these step-by-step -step, um, pictures because sometimes I'll get lost in the description and not really, I get focused on wanting to have it lay out so that I make sure I cook it just like the author intended so that I could try to get the exact same result sometimes. And so I really like having those photos there. Um, I also really like that she uses multiple different types of kitchen, uh, small kitchen appliances throughout the book. So some of these recipes will be traditional, like oven and stovetop based. She has this instant pot balsamic beef stew that I'm probably going to be trying this weekend at some point. Um, there are some air fryer recipes. So it uses some of these new and like trending kitchen appliances as well for some of the recipes. And I really like that because I really like kitchen appliances. Um, and so I am going to be, as I said, doing a egg scramble. So I'm going to be making this pesto garden scramble that has eggs, and spinach, walnuts, tomatoes. I actually purchased all of the proper ingredients that are listed in the uh, recipe. As many of you may know, I don't always have what's available. And so sometimes I'll just try to substitute something. And this year I'm gonna to try to be a lot better and seeing if I can find recipes that I have the ingredients that are actually listed on there so that I can might maybe broaden my uh, ingredients lists that I like to use. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna give a try. I'm back with Ready or Not, Nom Nom Paleo, and we are going to make a simple egg drop soup and it really is simple and it gives you the your home alone maybe you feel like a little warm cup of something nourishing it is a one and a half cups of broth a little seasoning either fish sauce or kosher salt one large egg and then scallion cilantro and a chili pepper to top and that's one serving and it happens really fast i'm making it times three i'm going to make three servings so i tripled the recipe and what you do is you wait for your your broth to boil. You can use bone broth, vegetable broth, whatever broth is your favorite yummy broth that you'd like to make egg drop soup with. You whipple together your eggs with your fork, which I put down over here. So we're going to whiffle this together. And I think the secret, they say to pour the eggs in from a height. We'll see. So we're pouring eggs in from a height so that they cook upon hit. You want them fluffy and slowly, fluffy and slowly. And they're beginning to cook. And I'm dropping it in. And then as soon as it's cooked and it's set the egg, you don't want to leave it on the stove. For a long time, you want to immediately transfer it to your bowl that you're going to eat it in or drink it in. Let's see. I'm going to turn it off. Oh, I think it did it. That is it. Okay, so then you anoint, and then it, this is like the super simplest broth, egg droppy soupy broth. But then you would, if you wanted it more substantial, you could add like leftovers. You can add vegetables or leftover meats, whatever you had. So I think this is cooked and they said, well, we'll try pouring this. They said to pour it in here. I'm following directions. 
And if those of you who know me know that I'm not real good at that. <laughs> and there's our soup. And then what you would do, maybe I don't put that there. Then what you would do is you would put it right here. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> and you anoint it with, sprinkle some cilantro on top, float a few, a few scallions on top, and, oh, I forgot to put the little bit of fish sauce, which is a little umami deep. It smells, fish sauce is misunderstood. It's kind of like a soy sauce or a, a Bragg's amino acids or a, any of those fermented things that are yummy. So it's a nice, rich, adds a punch of flavor or depth. You'll like it. Try it. And now we're going to, yes, come look, Rebecca. See how that looks? <laughs> and maybe I stir it a little bit so you can see the eggs underneath. So that didn't come out the way her picture did, but I'm gonna, I think it'll taste good. So now we can get ready to see what you're gonna make, Rebecca. More eggs. <laughs> so the dish that I'm making today from the, the third Nom Nom Paleo book is the Pesto Garden Scramble. It is pretty much a breakfast, but I love having breakfast any time of the day. So I would eat this for dinner as well as for breakfast one day. It was a really simple ingredients list. I was able to get everything here locally in town here. It is pretty much eggs, tomatoes, some salt. Uh, they either recommended using ghee or avocado oil and I grabbed some avocado oil, some minced garlic, some salt, some pesto, pepper, you could use kale or spinach. I hate kale, uh, so I am using baby spinach and then some walnuts on there. So you're gonna start in a warm pan and you're gonna add a tablespoon of your cooking fat. And so as I said, I'm using an avocado oil. And while that is heating up just a little bit, I'm going to get my spinach ready. The recipe calls for two cups a bag of baby spinach is four, so I should be able to just put half this bag in here. And I'm just gonna throw this in here and let that wilt down. It's gonna take about one to two minutes. I can probably put a little bit more spinach in there than I needed to. So we're just gonna let that wilt down. While that's wilting down, and I wanna put a little bit of salt in there, about a quarter a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And you're gonna put the same in your eggs. And this recipe calls for six eggs. I'm gonna scramble them while my spinach is wilting. And now that my spinach is wilting, I have my eggs scrambled on there. I'm going to add the cherry tomatoes and the garlic, and they're just gonna add right in here. And they are only really gonna cook for like 30 seconds or so. I tend to, cause I use a garlic a lot, I tend to just buy some minced garlic um, already done in the store. And I always add a little bit more cause I really like garlic. So we're just going to mix that in there for just a little bit. Those tomatoes really contrast really nice against the green spinach. And you can see so far this cook time has not taken very long. This recipe really takes about 15 minutes on there and now that we have I can smell the tomatoes cooking and the garlic all I have to do now is add my eggs I'm gonna give them one last whisk in there I'm gonna pour them all in there and this is going to be thank you Glenny mm -hmm. this is really now gonna just take that three to five minutes to just cook those eggs through up right as these eggs are solidifying and are cooked through. We are just going to take this 
off the heat, just transfer this over to the other side, and we are going to add two tablespoons of pesto. Now the book does have a recipe for your own pesto if you want to make it. Um, I just got some pesto from the store. And you can add to taste. So if you really, really like pesto, you could add more. If you don't, you don't have to add it at all. I'm just going to try to mix that in and incorporate it throughout the whole dish. And once you have all of that in there, it's just some walnuts. This calls for two tablespoons of toasted walnuts. That's the one thing I didn't have. I didn't have a chance to toast them. Um, I kind of just eyeballed it. I already bought some chopped walnuts. Um, I'm just gonna add a few more. And that is it, my friends. It's a beautiful Plenty thing I made. So from the Nom Nom Ready or Not book, I made the egg drop soup that you made with me and watched me make. And I also made these smoky um, cashews, which are delicious to put on top of salads or wraps or anything like that. I made a cauliflower pilaf with raisins and leeks. And I also made an Asian Thai mushroom, Thai mushroom stir fry which is a, if you like mushrooms and love mushrooms, this would be a lovely con con condiment or accompaniment to any of the other dishes, dishes in here. And then of course we have Rebecca's beautiful eggs. Do you remember well, the name? as you can see, these were some really easy and tasty dishes that we had made in these books. There are three books in the Nom Nom Paleo series and the library has all three of them. So we encourage you to stop in, check one of them out. Try a recipe or two, maybe let us know uh, how they turned out. Next month, we are going to be doing an Instant Pot series. So we're going to be using some Instant Pot cookbooks, and we're going to be using the library's Instant Pot that you can check out through our library of things to try some recipes and highlight that. So we can't wait to see you guys in March for our next Cook the Book series. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See you next month. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.